the Flip 5 versus the Marshall Emberton. After doing my initial review of the Marshall Emberton versus the other Marshall speakers, somebody asked me if I could do a review with the Flip 5. So I bought a Flip and compared it to the Emberton for about a week. Hello, I'm Danny, and today I'm going to talk to you about a comparison between the JBL Flip and the Marshall Emberton. They're both pretty sturdy. Um, the Emberton's definitely a little bit heavier. Um, it's a little bit more dense feeling. Um, they're both IPX7 rated, so you can take them both in the bathtub and drop them in and not get electrocuted or ruin your speaker. However, that's where they kind of differ. Um, if you look at the Emberton, it's got one dial up on top that pretty much does everything except for the Bluetooth button, which is off to the side. I really like the control scheme here. It's really easy to use. It's very intuitive. In comparison to the JBL Flip 5, if you look at the buttons back here, you've got them kind of all over the place. Basically, you have to have two hands to push the buttons, which is just not as, uh, doesn't have as much flow as just pushing one thing with one button up here and it not moving around. In addition, if you're trying to touch the buttons, they're facing away from you, so you, you might have a little bit of difficulty there. Taking into account everything else, I'd say this is probably your best value for price. Um, this is more like the, the BMW or the Mercedes of portable speakers. Also, it's styled a little bit fancier and stuff like that too. Sound quality. All right, so I listen to these a lot. And honestly, it's a toss up in different areas for both of them. Neither one totally trumps the other in terms of sound unequivocally, une unequivocally, I think that's how you say it. The JBL sounds really good um, for its size, it's really impressive. And the Emberton sounds really good for its size and it's also um, equally impressive. Both of these speakers will like deliver the spirit of the music. You'll never feel like you're not really hearing what the artist intended to do with what you're trying to hear. But um, the, what the Emberton does that the JBL doesn't is it tends to bring out the midtones a little bit more to you. It kind of serves them up to you versus like this one, the midtones get lost a little bit more. So basically what that ends up translating to um, is that voices sound a little bit more clear on the Emberton. But that's a double-edged sword. They sound a little bit more clear. However, they can also sound a little more tiresome on the Emberton if you're listening for a long time. Now that's very subjective, and I, ultimately I don't think you're gonna care if you just buy one or the other. But if you're listening to like a podcast for a very long time, um, because the midtones are so pronounced, you're gonna be constantly bombarded with that a bit more than you would the JBL. I don't think the JBL is intentionally bringing down the midtones. I think it's just their sounds just a little bit more spread out evenly, um, so you won't get that. The, in, with that kind of in mind, like if you're trying to listen to like really good vocal singing, I would say the Emberton has the edge. If you're trying to listen to more party music, the JBL Flip 5 has the edge. Um, both are gonna impress your guests, but this one will has a little bit more of a spike towards the uh, vocals, which I find like pleasing to my ears subjectively. Beast of the Nikon family. This is the Nikon F3, the pro camera that came out in the beginning of the 1980s. And this is the FM2, which is considered their mid-range camera and it's fully mechanical. The differences are really quite small when it comes to taking the shot, but where it matters is in your shooting style. Now, any Nikon is gonna have an exceptional build quality, and these are no exceptions. Both of these cameras are made out of a copper aluminum silicon alloy, which is known to have a high tensile strength. Uh, it gets loud as hell. Holy crap, that's loud. I want to say the JBL sounded a little bit clearer on this particular song.
think the JBL has a, something like the higher notes or the higher end is a little bit clearer. Woo! That has a little more spirit on this particular piece. And finally, so what do I think about these guys? All right, $84, $150. Definitely one is more of a luxury item than the other. I'd say either one of them you buy, you're gonna be super impressed with and you're gonna be happy that you got it. You're going, you're, you're listening pleasure and like being able to like listen what's, to what's really happening with the music comes with both of them. The Emberton's gonna have the edge on the vocals just a little bit due to the mid-tones and you're gonna hear that it's gonna be presented to you on a platter whereas it'll get lost a little bit more in the JBL5. Now that's not to say that the JBL5 doesn't accurately portray sound um, at all, it, it, it really does. It does a really good job and some music sounds actually slightly better on the flip than it does on the Emberton. Um, but I would say those tend to be more like party songs overall. Um, they both are great for party music, but I think the flip has a slight edge. So value-wise, I'd say the JBL has definitely got the better value, being at like 84 bucks what I got it for. Um, if you wanted to spend more, you can totally customize it on their website, which is super cool. Um, and that's 150 bucks and then it matches this. Uh, so I think you get a lot more with the flip for the price. However, if you're an audiophile, I think you might appreciate the technology in the Emberton a little bit more. Um, it just has like that really warm quality to it that uh, the flip has occasionally, but not as often um, due to the, the voices being brought out more. So which one should you buy? If you just listen to, want to listen to music, definitely just the flip. If you want to accentuate voices, um, I'd say the Emberton has the edge. Uh, podcasts, definitely. Just house party music in general, um, playing in the background, your flip is going to be totally fine. So it's kind of like, do you want the Toyota or do you want the Mercedes or the BMW? Um, this one's a little bit easier to manipulate and work with. And this one's a little bit more for like sitting in the party in the background, especially because the buttons are kind of hidden. So, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see me review more speakers uh, in comparison, just let me know. I just did it for fun. Um, it's definitely not my specialty. I just really like good sounding speakers and I'm sort of a wannabe audiophile, I guess. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.